How is it going with everybody? You're watching then about tech, and today we're going to talk about this, a grayed out Apple ID or Apple account section. So you tap on it, nothing happens, it's completely disabled. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix that and how you can regain access to your Apple ID settings. Let me show you right now, let's get started. Okay, so all we need is already right here in our iPhone settings. So just scroll down, keep scrolling just a bit until you get to screen time, tap on it, and that's exactly where the problem started. Because if your Apple ID or Apple account section is grayed out, just like you saw mine a few seconds ago, right? That's because you have enabled a restriction. Maybe you don't remember it, maybe it was a few weeks, a few months ago, but you have probably realized now, and of course, that's an issue, right? Now, let me show you how to fix it. As I said, it's a restriction, so we have it right here, a section dedicated to this. So tap here on content and privacy restrictions, tap on it, and then you can scroll down, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, until you get here to accounts, and as you can see, don't allow. Meaning our Apple ID account is actually disabled because changes are not allowed, and that's the issue. So in order to fix it, all you have to do is tap on it, and then right here, tap on allow and you're good to go. Please keep in mind that for some people, as you tap here on allow in order to change it, you will have a screen asking for a passcode. And please keep in mind that this passcode that will pop up on some of your iPhones is not your lock screen passcode. It's not the passcode you use to unlock your iPhone. That's a dedicated passcode for screen time. So if you remember it, you can go ahead, type it in, you're good to go, you have allowed it. But if you don't remember it, you have two options. So if you are an adult and you own the iPhone, you can reset the lock screen passcode. I have a dedicated video on this. I'm gonna leave you right here with the card link in the description. But if you are a child, if the iPhone was given to you by your parent, maybe they have actually enabled this feature on purpose. So I recommend you to go ahead and talk to them. So talk to your parent or your guardian. All right, this is super important. All right, so now that we're good to go, you have allowed it again, you can come back Come back once again, come back for the third time, swipe all the way up, and there we go, it's free again. So I can tap on it, and then I can already go ahead and take a look at my Apple account, my Apple ID. It's again, completely enabled, it's not grayed out anymore. And please keep in mind, this may happen to other features on your iPhone. Some people actually disable the Face ID and passcode in screen time to make it safer. So you can go ahead and let's come back here to screen time and then content and privacy restrictions. And I do recommend that you go ahead and take a look at this whole list right here. And if you see any of those features don't allow, that's why you have other features restricted on your iPhone. So if you want to, you can go ahead here and altogether disable this. So you are disabling all restrictions on your iPhone. So then your iPhone is back to normal, back to stock with no restrictions. Again, if you want to do that and you have a screen time passcode, it'll ask you for the passcode once again. It'll ask you for pretty much any changes that you want to make in screen time. So that's literally it, guys. That's how you actually deal with your Apple ID or Apple account grayed out and disabled right here on your settings and pretty much any other restrictions you may be facing on your iPhone, all right? So thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.